everyone and welcome back to our channel RJ Automobile a channel of YouTube on which we discuss about each and every parts of an automobile so in order to that today we are going to discuss about single plate clutches guys whenever you drive your car or a bike you definitely change the gears of vehicle so at that time you have to press the clutch pedal so why we need to press that clutch pedal so in order to learn about that please sit back relax and watch our video till the very last second so guys our today's topic is single plate clutch you can have a look here this one is a engine shaft which is a crankshaft connected through the engine flywheel and after this flywheel the single plate clutch assembly is present so guys let's have a look on the basic parts of the single plate clutch like first one is the pressure plate which is shown here by the pink color and a friction plate and clutch plate this orange color plate is a clutch plate and the white color plate is a friction plate guys this clutch plate and friction plate comes in an assembled way uh, that's why we can't see here in the disassembled way if you guys disassemble sometimes at that time only you can look this clutch plate and friction plate and another basic part which is a clutch pedal and the fulcrum pin which is a joint of a uh, two links and the bearings and clutch shaft this clutch shaft is an input shaft of a gearbox and one more basic thing with which is a clutch spring these are the springs with this clutch springs our pressure plates are continuously kept in a contact okay guys let's see how this single plate clutch works so guys there will be two conditions are possible first one is a engaged position and second one is a disengaged position guys our clutches are always in a engaged position that's why engine power is transmitted to the gearbox we just have to disengage our clutch plate in order to change the gears so guys when we need to change the gear at that time we press the clutch plate and with the help of these bearings we can pull it back and the pressure plates are also goes backward and when this goes backward it acts a opposite force to this springs and now our clutch plate and friction plate is disengaged with the help of this is splines guys these are splines on this plates can be move forward and backward now in the engaged position with the help of this clutch springs only our pressure plates are continuously in a engaged position with friction plate and clutch plate and this assembly works properly okay so guys why this is called single plate clutch because in this assembly only single clutch plate is used that's why it is called single plate clutch and um, guys in a single plate clutch a single plate clutch is used but two friction plates are used for this single plate clutch you can have a look here this orange line is a single plate or clutch plate and this white lines are a friction plate in a multi plate clutch if there will be two clutch plate so there will be three friction plates and if four clutch plate then five friction plates will be present so guys this is single plate clutch so thanks for watching guys our today's video if you like our videos on our channel please give us a big fat thumbs up share with your friends so that they also can learn about the single plate clutch system and uh, feel free to subscribe our channel okay guys bye bye i'll see you to the next week